In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated interactive glassmorphic icon for representing a user profile within an interface. This video is a part of a series of videos of interactive icons where we already created analytics, content and dashboard. I'm going to use these as a guide in this video as well. So if there is something that I maybe might kind of gloss over that's not completely clear to you or that you would like to see in more detail, make sure to go and watch my first video, which is analytics, where each and every step is described in detail. So let's get started with an icon for user profile. So the user profile is going to contain something like an icon of a person, uh, just a basic outline. I'm again, I'm going to use the analytics icon for uh, as a guide. So I'm going to select this, select the instance of this component and then detach that so that it can get started on the user icon. I'm going to copy this and call this user profile. And each of these icons has a different color. We already used blue, red and yellow and I thought it would be nice to use green for user profile which means I'm gonna select this rectangle and then change the colors here. We're gonna also have to change the colors of various effects. In this case it's the inner shadow. You can see that this glow on the on the side um, that's that's blue. We would like to use green for that as well. I'm just gonna change these colors. There is inner shadow with a blue color on these bars as well. So I'm gonna sample this, make it transparent enough. And the glow or drop shadow of this background square is blue as well. We want to use green again, but everything falls in nicely together. We have this radial gradient using cyan and we're gonna use like something closer to the green that we are using so like this for example like this opacity of this could be like 48 50 something like that and now we have successfully changed the color this is now a green and this user profile could be shaped something like uh, this we could use an ellipse and then we could use like a, a rectangle that that will be rounded on the top only right the shape similar to this and we want to approximate the style you know the visual style of these elements so we might want to you know round these bottom corners a bit we want to use the same shadows and glows and effects i'm just gonna copy the drop shadow and inner shadow and paste that here and here and then change the color to white, right? So you can see how <clears throat> this is, is now matches this visual style of, the, of these bars, but for the profile icon. Command X, cut these. I'm gonna remove these, we don't need them anymore. And then paste this new icon within the frame, within the user profile frame, right on top of this square. We're gonna try and see if maybe a bit of a distance between the shoulders and the head of the user the icon could be maybe like two pixels one pixel three pixels i think three, three pixels looks a bit too much i would say let's go for two i mean this looks still looks as a user but um you know there's some distance or one maybe i don't know let's keep it at a one pixel distance for now. I'm gonna maybe increase the opacity of the white inner shadow. I'm gonna show the text that says analytics, but now it's gonna say profile. So we have this icon, we have this text kind of further away from the icon and all of this is wrapped inside a frame. I'm gonna remove this and then I'm gonna I'm going to select this user profile and then go, go here to create a component. This component is going to have two variants, but we're going to just use one for now and create the other one later. This is going to be the, the default state and this is going to be the active state where I'm going to select this green rectangle and extend that to take up, you know, to be kind of the full size of the container. And we're gonna increase opacity of the gradient. I feel like this is too subtle. Yeah, this works. In terms of the distance of the text from the icon, that's gonna be 17.5. So this, and then 
on the X coordinates, I'm going to add 17.5. And obviously this icon is going to be centered vertically. And then from this space, that's going to be 35, if I recall correctly. Yeah, 35, so like this. Also, this hole is going to be rounded. This green rectangle is going to be rounded. 45 to be specific and now you can see how it kind of matches the rest so that's desirable um, maybe we want to darken this color a bit like this a lot of experimenting um, cool so there's no reason that this container frame needs to be significantly bigger than this rectangle so i'm gonna select all of these elements within the frame and then make sure that they are constrained to the top and left so now that i can scale this and it doesn't scale with the frame uh, yeah it's gonna be half a pixel doesn't doesn't matter uh, same here i'm gonna select this variant enter and then instead of scale i'm gonna say left and top uh, then i can do this awesome so we have the default state we have the active state we need to add a hover state i'm gonna create another variant this variant is gonna be let's switch the order around let's uh, just quickly rename our property our property is gonna be called state and these states are gonna be called uh, default and then um, then hover and active so these middle states these are all hovers so what happens here this colorful square moves behind the second square and you know covers it like this makes um, is being centered against the second frame uh, second square sorry and also the content the contents so meaning the white icon so the bars the play button and these cards here they change a little bit so in this case the play button is a bit bigger and in this case the bars change sizes a little bit just tiny bit you know and in this case also like top left card is you know changes sizes so we're gonna do just that in terms of the x position of this transparent white square that's gonna be 30 right so we can keep that that's that's okay um in terms of the vertical position that's 17.5 so i'm gonna select all of this group this and say 17.5 then ungroup it again and then i'm just gonna make sure that this second square covers this one perfectly and then there's some overlap the overlap is 10 pixels so that's gonna be 20 in total so that's 75 times 75 so 75 75 and then boom like this awesome the corner radius that's gonna be 75 as well oh sorry sorry not 75 24 24 like this awesome so this is the default state hover state active state um yeah, let's do something about these white shapes so how could we change we could make them bigger um, move them up something like that so let's just try making them bigger like this so the whole person becomes larger like this moves closer all right and now we can actually i'm gonna hide these in this these two states so the opacity will be zero now we are ready for preparing the you know for prototyping so let's go to prototype, select the first icon, select this little circle and go or click and drag it to connect it to the second one. So that would be not on click, but while hovering, change to state hover, makes sense. So while you're hovering, this will be changed to the hover state. Uh, smart animate, ease in and out, 200 milliseconds. Then I'm gonna select the second state, the hover state and click and drag again to the last state. So that would be now on click, change to state active, smart animate, ease in and out, 200 milliseconds. And then from the last one, I'm gonna select this once again, click and drag to the first state and say mouse leave. So mouse leave, change to state default, smart animate, ease in and out, 200 milliseconds. Let's go to assets and then click and drag the user profile icon right next to all of these right here move them over here center and let's see the result all right this is looking good this is the final result i hover it changes states to hover it will also it also changes the person icon a little bit then i click it sh it shows the text and then i leave it and it reverts back 
So this is consistent with all the remaining icons. They all behave the same. So content, dashboard, profile, analytics, all right? Stay tuned for one last video where I will be creating a settings icon. And then in one final video, I'm gonna compile all of these together into one interactive menu with interactive icon. So stay tuned if you like this video. If you enjoyed this process, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you need more detail on the process, make sure to check out this video on analytics. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.